Hello everyone, welcome to our new video that is about feline immunodeficiency virus. Feline immunodeficiency virus FIV belongs to the group lentiviruses and the family retrovirus. This virus slowly affects the health of the cat and the infected cat remain healthy for many years. The cat cannot remove the virus from their body and it remains in the saliva of the infected cat. Although the virus acts very slowly, still it weakens the immune system of the cat. The cat can be infected by various secondary infections due to its weakened immune system. Now we see how FIV is transmitted. FIV is transmitted from one cat to another through deep bite wounds. Cats that remain inside the house usually doesn't get the disease. It is not spread through sharing food or water bowl or inhalation. Mostly aggressive cats that fight in streets carry this disease. Now we see what are the symptoms of FIV. If a cat is infected from feline immunodeficiency virus, no symptoms appear for many years. However, it weakens the immune system of cat with time due to which the cat can be affected by many secondary infections. The symptoms that appear in affected cat are Sneezing, discharge from eyes or nose, anemia, fever, lethargy, enlarged lymph nodes, diarrhea, poor appetite, intestinal disease, weight loss, chronic or recurrent respiratory disease, gingivitis means inflammation of gums, stomatitis means inflammation of mouth, Conjunctivitis means inflammation of eyes, skin redness, wounds that don't heal, hair loss, frequent urination, behavioral change, neurological disease. Now we see how does FIV cause disease. FIV infects white blood cells of immune system, specifically lymphocytes. The virus kills these cells and compromise the function of that eventually damage the cat's immune system. Within first week of infection, a mild symptoms like fever and swollen lymph nodes appear due to replication of the virus. Mostly, these symptoms are very mild and not be easily noticed. In response to the infection, an immune system develops that helps to reduce the replication of virus but unable to remove it completely. In some infected cats, after 2 to 5 years, the viral replication gets fast and the cat starts developing the signs of the disease. This increased rate of viral replication damages the immune system. Now we see how FIV can be diagnosed. FIV is normally diagnosed by testing the antibodies in cat's blood. Since cat is unable to eliminate the virus from the body, therefore the presence of antibodies means that there must be virus present in the body of cat. This presence of antibodies can also show either false positive test or false negative test. Now we see what is false positive test. In a newborn kitten from an infected mother, antibodies will be found in the blood, but that doesn't mean that virus is also present in newly born kitten. The kitten receives the antibody from mother through milk, such kitten must be retested via PCR to detect the viral DNA in kitten blood. Moreover, FIV vaccinated cats will also show a positive test for antibodies. 
In these cases, P PCR test is required to test the presence of virus in the cat. Now we see what is false negative test. Usually, antibodies take 8 to 12 weeks to reach the detectable level. Therefore, sometimes cat is infected but the infection is still at the initial stage that makes it difficult to detect. If your cat is bitten by an unknown cat, it should be retested after 60 days to reconfirm the presence of antibodies. Now we see how FIV can be treated. FIV infected cats can live a happy life for a long period of time but the virus affects its immune system that make it more susceptible to secondary infections. Supportive care for cats should be provided to make it able to survive for a longer period of time. That include infected cats should remain indoor, proper nutrition should be provided to the cat, Health care like vaccination and warm control must be provided. Recheck up of cat twice a year. Two antiviral therapies are used against FIV infection. Antiviral drug like AZT. It is the same drug that is used in human against HIV. It cannot completely cure the cat, but in case of severe signs and symptoms, it can be recommended. Another therapy is interferon. Feline interferons are available in some countries and used as antiviral therapy. Interferon are naturally producing compounds that help to improve immune system and act as an antiviral agent. Now we see how FIV can be prevented. FIV vaccine is available but it does not necessarily protect the cat. These vaccines are also responsible to give false positive test of FIV infection. To protect the cat, following measure should be adopted. Keep your cat indoor. During outdoor walk, keep your cat in leashes. While socializing, make it sure that all cats playing together are tested FIV negative. Now we see what happens when a cat remains untreated. Without proper care, many cats can develop secondary infection. Some of the cats may develop cancer, kidney failure, blood disease and ultimately death. That was all about feline immunodeficiency virus. Hope you really liked this video. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to our channel and click on bell icon for more videos.